Hi friends, this is Chris with Josephine's Design. I am back with a By the Well for God unbagging. So anyways, I've cut the end, but I haven't taken anything out yet. So, let me make sure. Ooh, yep. Yay! I wanted to try some of the clear gesso. Yay. So, neat. All right. Um, I've never used this, but I love um, Dina Weekly. So, Weekly, Wakely, how do you say that? Dina Wakely. I knew I said it wrong. Okay. Alrighty. So, let's see here. Okay. Oh my goodness. Alright. We all love the tissue, so I'm being very careful. And we, of course, love the tooling, and I always keep that right over there. And let me see here. Let's get this all out, and then we'll go through the envelopes. So, I hope you guys are having a great day. It is very busy here. Um, we have not been feeling well, but we are okay. Um, you know, with all the scary things going on right now. But, um, yeah. And, after this, I've got to get my, um, oh, my video up for the camp. But, I wanted to, oh my goodness, I had forgotten about this. I have wanted to use these forever. Oh, yay, guys. Woohoo. So these are the Dina Wakely, and these are just the different um, tips you can use in mixed media, which I am super happy about. I um, have looked at these for like two years, and I love Lori and By the Well for God. So that is who I chose to get them from. So I am super thrilled. So you can see there's one that's kind of the smaller chiseled, larger chiseled, a pointed and a smaller pointed so super fun it took me a long time to see complete value in them but I do <laughs> I do now because <laughs> I thought you could Oops. hold on sorry it dropped I thought you could replicate that with other things that you already have you know that kind of a thing okay so hmm. let's get this in order Okay, so I wanted to share a couple of the other things first before we get into the kits. So, this goes with the new kit, and I love the stamp. It caught my eye before it ever came out, and I love this. Um, little girls picking flowers, picking roses. I love that. I love the teacup with the roses. It's all of that. I love contentment, stay in your lane, held in his arms. All of those right now are just so encouraging to me. So, I wanted to get that. Of course, I got the additional stickers, or this, the letter tiles, and I love these, and they match the current kit, as well as the alphabets. And you can see all those colors right there that match the current kit. Super thrilled to play with that. Um, can't wait to get started in the kit. I also saw this one, plant the seed and God will make it grow. And that's a hint for something that's coming soon. Can't wait. So... All right, I also found some of her simple stories. So this is floral bits, and I love all that. So instead of taking them out, I've got a bird and, and butterflies and all kinds of flowers, and I think they're all so beautiful. And then these are bits and pieces, which are more flowers, more birds, and banners, and just fun things. Then there's a second bits and pieces, and this one is different. So this has... Um, a scooter and a house looks like yeah it's just like a little house another house um, some travel love yourself um, keep blooming just some encouragements in there that I thought were sweet and then I also picked up the simple vintage garden paper that goes with I think it's that one yep so I just thought those were so pretty together and I want to use those in a project so those will all stay together and they're gonna go just right there <laughs> So, oh, my table has gotten horrible again. Okay, that goes with the kit. So, uh-oh, why did they send me 2020 Vision? Oh, no. No. Uh-oh. Okay, as you guys know, I already have this and I've already taught this, so I'm going to reach back out to them. I think I know exactly what they were supposed to send instead. So, that's okay. I've never had that happen. So, it could have been my fault. 
you know, I will say that right now. <laughs> but, so, Greener Grass, that is the current kit, and I'm super excited. So, here is the paper for it. And right now, I really do need to focus on being content in all things. So, I think this is perfect timing. I love the, the flare with the little flowers and then the green. And I love that flare that says, Home is Best. Oh, that's so sweet. And then... Looks like Isaiah 55, 9, for, for as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than, the, higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. Oh, I love that. And then here's two darling little, um, what am I trying to say? Bookmarks. There we go. <laughs> All right, the sticker. Oh, I love that. That's so sweet. Oh, they give us two. I love that. Light skin and dark skin. I love that. And then here is the paint. So this is the Daniel Smith. And it's the extra fine watercolor. And it's Fuchsite. Fuchsite. Fuch, Fuch, I don't know. I would say Fuchsite. Um, genuine. Um, fallow yellow green. Sap green. Ammonizite. Ammon, Amazonite. Sorry, I'm having a hard time today. Genuine Mayan red, organic vermilion, and quin quinacridone gold. I'm sorry, guys. Ooh, I'm not definitely. We're not. We weren't feeling well. <laughs> and I'm not doing a good job reading. And to be honest, I don't. I'm sure I've heard those terms. I just don't remember. This is so cute. It comes with the kit. Right outside my door. Right there next to our driveway is our, our neighbor's pasture land, and his bull met me when I got in my car today. A little pig and all kinds of good things. And there's some kind of structure. I don't know if that's a ladder. I don't know what that is. And then a key with trust and the floral. And then, oh, the stickers are so darling. I love, I love the goose. That's so pretty. And all the flowers. Oh, there's a sweet little girl. And there's that puppy that was in that stamp. Oh, so sweet. And then the washi. So pretty. Ooh, look. Here are the verse cards. So bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Psalms 103.2. And we can journal on that. You can use that in your Bible. You can use it in a memory deck. You can use it anywhere in your journal. Let us then with confidence draw near to the throne of grace, that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Hebrews 4.16. Did I say Psalms 103.2? Sorry. <laughs> we look not to the things that are seen, but to the things that are unseen. 2 Corinthians 4.8. Oh, so sweet. That reminds me when we moved out here, we had rabbits and ducks and geese and chickens. and Ooh, that's fun. Look at that. Those letters are different. And definitely these clearly complement it. So I'm super excited. And that complements. So, okay, I'm going to put that with it. And then, last but not least, oh my goodness gracious, so you get a hen, a goose, looks like, that's really a rooster, pardon me, a goose, probably a hen, one of them's got to be gander, one of them's got to be a goose, the two little girls, oh, look at that little duck, holding the rabbit, oh, the little piglet, the little calf, the, the puppy jar, the cow, the, um, rubber boots, the pail, and that darling little birdhouse. Oh my goodness, aren't the colors amazing? And then it looks like we get a piece of cloth with the little pigs on it. That is too funny. Okay, so let me introduce this to you. This is Greener Grass. This is By the Well for God. And we're just going to start with, I'm sure you've heard the expression, the grass is always greener on the other side of the fence. He conjures up a picture of a cow standing in a field of grass, stretching its neck through the fence, trying to reach the grass just out of reach. For the believer, this discontent, this longing for something else seems like a small thing. Ah, but its consequences are many. A consistent attitude of discontent has all kinds of ramifications for the child of God. Lack of contentment will stunt our spiritual growth, cripple our ministries, snatch away our trust, and squelch our joy. Join me as we open our hearts to the Word of God regarding the issue of contentment. I really hope you guys, if you are doing this kit, please let me know. Send me a message. So, okay, first, well, goodness, she sent me two sets of thank yous, I think. Thank, oh, this is for the first hundred order thank you. I don't know that I've ever done that. Wow. So, how much fun is that? 
whoops, and I'm dropping everything. <laughs> okay. So, uh, look at the library cards. Oh, I love that. And that, of course, matches. So if we get two of every color, yep. So cute. Sorry, I'm trying to hold that and do this. I'm being ineffective in both ways. Oh, goodness gracious. That is a ton. Super excited. Thank you so much, Lori and friends. That is amazing. Um, guys, By the Well for God is an amazing, amazing company. And it is totally worth our support. They are very kind and very generous to everyone. So, and they've been a huge help on our channel and in our Bible journaling camp. So, I will always have a special place in my heart. So, I'm going to scooch this over. And then I'm going to come back over here. Now, okay, let's see here. Oh, I love that. Content at home. Oh, I love that. The little... The little bird in the birdhouse. Yeah, I know. You guys know me. Oh, look. So pretty. Filled with satisfaction. And it says, as for me, I shall behold your face in righteousness. When I awake, I shall be satisfied with your likeness. And that is God's likeness. Psalms 117, 15. And, I mean, pardon me, Psalms 17, 15. Sorry, guys. Oh, goodness. I apologize. <laughs> okay. Oh, look at all the extra goodies. Oh, thank you, Lori. Oh, I love all the extra flowers. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness gracious. So beautiful. Thank you, Lori. Oh, look, letters. Yay, perfect. I can totally use those. Okay. So, thank you. We are so grateful and support for your min for our ministry. The excitement over greener grass has been amazing. We hope that as you dig into Judy's beautiful devotional, your time with him will be blessed. You can follow us and our creative team on Instagram at By the Well for God. You can also join our Facebook, BTW4, the number 4, G-O-D, study, um, and sign up for the email list. And, of course, you guys can go on their Etsy and find the email link and all that good stuff. So tag us using hashtag BW4G underscore greener grass. That is so cute. So releasing late March, if you were given 24 hours to live, what would you do? Jesus did not spend his final hours fulfilling a personal bucket list. Instead, he used that valuable final night to love his disciples and impart on them his final important teachings. Collectively, those final teachings are referred to as the Upper Room Discourse. Join us as we explore the Upper Room Discourse recorded in John chapters 13 through 17 as we study what Jesus taught in the, le in the hours leading up to his crucifixion, a meal remembered. This, of course, is perfectly timed because we know we'll have Resurrection Sunday coming. Um, yeah, they are, they are amazing. So, all right, my friends. Um, I'm not going to open up the 2020 because... I've already done that, so I'm going to see what happened. If it, It's probably my fault, but I will reach back out and see what happened. Why well, I ended up with extra goodies, but um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and if you are doing this Bible study, Greener Grass, please um, leave a comment below. Um, you know, always, I just encourage you, you know, do what you can do if you want to invest in something that you think will be a blessing, go with the current Bible study with By the Well for God. It is totally worth every penny you set, you spend. And not only that, you get far more. It's just an amazing deal. So, all right, guys. Um, and the Bible studies are phenomenal. Let me just say that real quick. They are phenomenal. So, a study on contentment. That's what I need right now. Okay, friends, I pray your day is blessed, creative, and lovely. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. We'd love for you to be a part of the channel, to be a part of this family. And, um, yeah, we will be talking to y'all soon. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.